Hi, my name is Harrison, and I'm at the Portsmouth Marine Terminal. This is the start of Highway 58. According to Terry McAuliffe, one of his plans as governor would be to expand 58 to make it four lanes. What Martinsville and other areas need is they need to open up their communities and how you do that, as I say, four lane 58 all the way out from the port so we can get the goods from the port all the way out to the commerce of America. That will help them. I'm excited about Terry's idea. Let's see how much work it will take. What do you think of Terry McAuliffe's economic plan for Virginia? I think we do have four lanes. The 58 I know is four lanes. I don't think that's going to help because it's already four lanes. Maybe he should drive someplace other than Fairfax County in Washington, D.C. Um, I don't call that a two-lane road. It tells me he doesn't know the state that he wants to represent and lead. What grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. Okay, let me ask you a question. This is Route 58 here. How many lanes is that? Four. Are you sure? Well, 58 is four lanes and has been for the 15 years I've lived in this county. The funny thing is, anybody that's traveled around Virginia, and especially somebody who's saying that they want to lead Virginia, should know a little bit about what's outside the Beltway. Tell me, Mr. White, if 58 were four lanes, would that increase your business? Well, 58's been four lane both east and west for years. Uh, 30 years probably to the west and 15 probably to the east. So it's already four lane. Can you tell me, if 58 were four lanes, would that make it easier here in South Hill? I don't know how much bigger these four lanes can get, but it, I don't know that it's going to make it any easier since we already have four lanes. Count them one, two, three, four, and a big division in the middle. It's a little unusual to promise something that's already there. Since why it is uh, four lane from Virginia Beach all the way through Martinsville to Stewart. I think we are already four lanes all the way through, all the way to Stewart. You've heard what Terry McAuliffe wants to do to 58. What do you think about his plans for 58? I think they sound like good plans, but the problem is, is that it's, it's already been done. You know, we're already four lanes here in Danville for a long time. And I, I know that Terry McCullough hasn't spent a lot of time in Virginia, particularly down in, in this part of the state. But Virginians don't have time for a governor to get on the job training. We need somebody with experience and somebody that knows our area and somebody that knows Virginia. 58 has been four laned almost as long as I've been on this earth and, and, and I'm not, I wasn't born yesterday. Makes me wonder if he's ever been here. We've come to the end of our 250 mile trek along 58. And as you've seen, it's been four lanes all the way, except for the two-lane on-ramp from the Portsmouth Terminal. The good news is that Mr. McCullough's plan to widen 58 is fiscally responsible. It won't cost the Commonwealth any money to do something that's already been done. The bad news is it's obvious that Mr. McAuliffe hasn't been to this part of Virginia. He needs to remember that there is a Virginia outside of the Beltway. <laughs>